Welcome, Aries, to your oracle reading. And for you this week, I pulled number four, Dear as your medicine card. Four is a number for reliability. So this has to do with the core of who you are, the foundation of your being. So there might be a major shift on how you perceive life and yourself this week. And dear medicine is gentleness. In the indigenous story that Jamie Sams shares in the guidebook about this medicine card, she explains that deer tamed a demon simply by looking at it gently. The deer did not try to force its will upon another. So this is not a week to force your way into doing things. This is not a week to force anything to happen or force anybody to do things that you want. This is not a week to make what you perceive in your reality that you want to happen. Instead, this is a week to let things gently unfold naturally, to let things happen in an organic manner, to allow things to happen by being gentle with yourself and gentle with others, gentle and compassionate in your relationships, being kind, even in the face of adversity, even if you face a challenge this week. Now for your mineral companion, I pulled this beautiful smoky citrine. And this stone is used to remove abundance blocks. So there may be something that is blocking your abundance this week or has been blocking your abundance this week and it's going to be removed. And abundance comes in many forms. This could be happiness. This could be luck. This could be just life leaving, living up to your expectations. This could also be financially. So this week you're working with this abundance block. You're going to find out what is causing it and remove the block to making your life everything that it should be, everything that you deserve, everything that you want. Now for your advice card, I pulled number 54, the sweat lodge. 54 breaks down to nine, which is the number for completion. So something is coming to an end here. Something within you has grown to the point where it's ripe. You're ready for this new change in your life, this new direction, this new possibility. And the sweat lodge represents the womb of the mother. It represents going into the subconscious. So this week you're going to be working with repressed aspects of yourself, things that you probably haven't dealt with before because you didn't want to, because you didn't feel strong enough. So you push them down into your subconscious. This is a week where those issues are going to come up and they are an opportunity for you to heal yourself, to basically purge yourself of the toxin of repressing these aspects of yourselves. And this means that there's deep inner work to be done. So a great thing to do is to simply write down stream of conscious writing everything that you are thinking this week. And in there, you will find the repressed aspects that you are asked to integrate into yourself through this process of the sweat lodge and really get the vision because that's one of the things that the sweat lodge provides is visions get the vision of receive the vision that is coming to you of how to heal these aspects of yourselves the parts of you that you have denied the parts of you that you do not wish existed Perhaps it's a part of you that is depressed because the weather is gray wherever you are at. Perhaps it's a part of you that is the inner child that wants to go out and play in the rain or the snow. It's recognizing these aspects and honoring them, accepting them, honoring that they are telling you something. The inner child is saying, play, enjoy yourself, enjoy and celebrate life. The aspect that is depressed when it's gray outside is telling you, that you prefer the sunny weather, you prefer blue skies. And perhaps you can turn that around and learn to appreciate the gray days, appreciate the days where weather is not perfect. These are the opportunities that are coming up and being offered by the Sweat Lodge. Now for your clarifying card, I pulled Tobera of the Waters, number 37. And 37 breaks down to one. So we have a new initiating energy here, a new fresh start. So while something is coming to completion, something is coming to an end in your life, a new door is opening, a new way of being is being offered here. And Tobera of the Waters represents 
emotions. It represents the thirst for spirituality. And so this is a new beginning for you, a new start on your spiritual journey, a new path forward. You have the opportunity here to grow on an individual level, to grow as a person through working with your subconscious, which involves your emotions and working through those emotions and learning from those emotions to learn what they are trying to tell you. So this is a beautiful week of self-growth for you, Aries, and I hope that you enjoy it. I hope that you grow as a person. Like I said, you may perceive yourself differently at the end of this. So hopefully you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed reading the cards for you. Please hit the like button if you did and subscribe to gain next week's Oracle as well. Also, please check out your moon and rising sign videos so that you can gain even more perception on your coming week. Bye for now.